What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate, and today we are finally doing it. I'm talking about the most challenging part of After Effects. That's right, the part that separates the nerds from the noobs, expressions. Now don't get me wrong, you can do a bunch of really cool stuff in After Effects without even having to touch expressions. In fact, for most effects like VFX and compositing, expressions aren't really gonna help you that much, but for things like animations and motion graphics, I can't recommend them enough. Expressions can improve your animations drastically, and save you a whole lot of time you're gonna want to stick around because we are going over the handiest the most useful and the easiest ones to learn in after effects i'm excited i know you are too all right let's go okay so the first expression i'm going to talk about is probably the easiest one to remember that was fucking weird <laughs> <laughs> it's called Wiggle. Now, I first heard about Wiggle from the godfather of After Effects himself, Andrew Kramer. And ever since, I've found myself using Wiggle in so many projects. It's super versatile and I've used it in a bunch of projects to add a controlled random movement. Now, if that sounds kind of confusing, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now, let's say I have this box here, but I don't want it to just be static. I can actually add a wiggle expression to its position. And I'm just gonna go ahead and type in wiggle and then parentheses. And let's go ahead and put two values in here because that's what it needs, frequency and an amplitude. I'm gonna put 10 comma 20 or whatever, hit enter and I'm gonna close that out holy shit i'm talking about code this sounds so nerdy Ugh. and once i click out of it and i hit play you're gonna see this box now acts like a kid on candy or a bunch of ravers cooked up at a music festival and it's okay if you don't remember this code exactly because honestly i forget it all the time but i just tend to play around with the values until I figure out which one's the frequency and which one's the amplitude. Or you can check down in the description because all of the codes are gonna be down there so that you don't have to just type them in yourself. You can copy and paste it, save yourself some time. And while you're also going down there and checking out the description, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're gonna be talking about all kinds of cool stuff on this channel, you're not gonna wanna miss out. So I've used this effect for creating a faux handheld camera movement and even faux hand-drawn animation stop motion effect. This expression is just so versatile, I can't recommend it enough. It gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so for a while in After Effects, I was doing looping animations entirely wrong. If I wanted something to loop, I would make a pre-comp and then make a shit ton of copies, which would just blow up my projects. And then I would painstakingly move each of those pre-comps to the end point of the other pre-comp, which would just take forever. And then pretty much I would only have a loop that lasted as long as my patience. And if this sounds familiar, trust, there is an easier way. So instead of doing all of that, what we can instead do, we can select an animation we like and then pre-comp the layer, making sure to move all the attributes to a new composition. And then we can click enable time remap. Once that's up, we can alt click the stopwatch next to time remap and apply one of my favorite expressions, the loop out expression. The loop out expression will loop the animation based on the out point. So if we actually want this to loop out either faster or slower, all we have to do is move this one keyframe at the end, either closer or at the end of the time remapping. This is much simpler, right? The best part is that this is all in one layer and it's still fully customizable. And since there's really only two keyframes, I can make a bunch of changes easily without worrying about the looping being broken at all or me having to move stuff around. So I've used this on GIFs or animations that are really, 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 really long, like this playlist in which to animate this leg swinging back and forth. I'm not gonna sit there and animate those same two keyframes over the course of 30 minutes in After Effects. Instead, I use the loop out animation to save me so much time and avoid having to do really repetitive work. Anyways, loop out, really useful. I love it a lot. And for that reason, it gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval. Okay, so next on the list is another expression that's super easy to remember. It's called time. So this expression is really useful for creating things like counters or even making animations that you want constant and based on the time. So for example, you might use this expression if you wanna make something like this animated counter right here. And in order to do that, all you'd have to do is make a new text layer and then go to the source text and type in time 
Now, this is different from the time code effect in that you're able to still link this with other expressions and you have a lot more freedom with how you want to design this. So you can still do things like changing the character styles and it's even cooler when you apply the time effect to transformations like rotation. That way you get a clock-like rotation without any keyframes at all. So it's really handy once you get creative with it, it gets a well-earned black mixture stamp of approval. Ooh, okay, so now we are getting down to the last two, and before we get anywhere into this list, I want you guys to know right now, this is just based on my opinion and what kind of projects I do. So since I do a lot of motion graphics and VFX, these are just the ones that I've found to be in my projects time and time again, but definitely make sure that you, know, you check out whichever expressions are gonna be useful for you. And hey, if you got any expressions that you want us to know, leave a comment down below. All right, let's just get back into this list. Ooh, okay, so number two on this list is one of my favorites of all time. It is the blink expression. Now, I stumbled upon this expression as being like one of the first expressions I ever used, and that's because coming from Final Cut Pro, they had a really cool effect called blink. All it did was turn on and off a layer, just like a flickering effect, but not like a flickering effect in After Effects, which will have sometimes values in between zero and 100. What this one did was it just turned off the layer on and off, which allows you to still do a lot of really cool stuff with it there's nothing that comes like that natively in after effects so i ended up googling how to do it and that's how i stumbled upon this really useful expression i use it in so many projects from a lot of animations to even this general editing of different clips together love it a lot can't recommend blink enough just make sure you go ahead save this one down into like your clipboard or wherever you're putting your expressions or maybe even into fx console which is a plugin i talk about on this video right here it's like the best plugin for after effects to me anyways <laughs> this expression gets a well-deserved black mixture stamp of approval let's go on to number one on this list okay so this expression is really cool kind of tricky to use so i'll just call it index but some people call it rotation multiplication or whatever the f but anyways it, it's pretty cool because what it allows you to do return a value based on its index which without getting all into like the nerdy details it, it lets you do some pretty cool stuff so i'll show you a really specific example let's say i have this box right here and I like this animation, but I think it'd be really cool to have an array of it in a circle. If you don't know what that is, I'm gonna show you in a second. We're gonna go down and just apply this expression, which is really easy. It's just index times 360 because we want a full circle. And I'm gonna put in however many of these copies I want. Let's say 10. So bam, I put in 10. And all of a sudden, if I copy this layer 10 times, we're gonna see that each copy gets placed in a circle perfectly. And as we hit play, all of the animations are still there. It looks great. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with this especially when it comes to motion graphics might be a little niche but it's pretty much the only thing that i can think of to save you this much time in after effects when doing something like this and for that reason it gets a black mixture stamp of approval anyways that is it for the list now i want to know what you guys think do you have any expressions that you just use and you think we should absolutely know about please leave a comment down below i'm gonna love reading it i'm sure everyone else will too if you haven't already make sure you hit the subscribe button because we're gonna be talking about all kinds of cool stuff Ooh, if you haven't already make sure you still enter in the giveaway that one's still going on till the end of this month hope you guys are having a great start to your new year and i hope to catch you on the next one peace We're done with the video. Boom, 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 tick a boom, shh, boom. All right, what should go at the end of the video? Like, I feel like I always try to give them something cool at the end of the video, but I have no idea what to give them here. Maybe I'll just.